Hello everyone. Welcome to part three of our APA workshop at the Harold L. Drimmer Library. In this presentation, we will go over the references page, which includes the complete citation information of the sources we've used in our paper. We will cover the most common types of sources and what information is required in an APA references page citation. At the end of the video, we will point to additional sources for help creating citations for less commonly used materials. You can always contact a librarian for assistance in APA or other citation formats. To review, in part one, we've learned how to properly incorporate information from our sources into our papers using direct quote and paraphrase. In part two, we covered exactly what information is required for the in-text citation, which depends on the source and how we've used it in our paper. That citation is just enough information to locate the source on our references page, where we will list the complete bibliographic citation about each source. The references page citation allows anyone to find the original source again. There are many citation formats, and you may be familiar with MLA, or Modern Languages Association format. And if you've watched parts one and two of this workshop, now with APA, or American Psychological Association format. These and other scholarly disciplines each decide on a preferred style and format of presenting information. In general, they are all looking for the same information although organized in a slightly different way. The authors or creators, the title of material, when and where it appeared, and sometimes location details. Following a citation style format guarantees you will not leave off any important details that may prevent your reader from locating your source or confusing it with another. Like many citation formats, the list of sources for APA called the references page will be in alphabetical order, double spaced with a hanging indent. Begin this source list on a new page with the title references centered at the top. Note on our references page, similar elements for all source types. Authors are listed by last name and initials, never full first names, and may include social media handles. The second citation element is the date in parentheses. This is an easy way to help distinguish between MLA and APA format. URLs and DOIs are never followed by a period. Non-text sources include a format type like video or PowerPoint slides. Before covering the specifics of how to cite different source types, we will cover common elements that will be found in most, if not all, references citations and how they should be formatted. APA requires you to list all, or at least most of, the authors from a source on the references page. The author format is author last name, comma, first initial, period, space, second initial, if any, period. For additional authors, separate them with a comma. Before the final author, use an ampersand, like in a parenthetical citation with two authors. Do not use a comma after the last author before the date. When there are 21 or more authors, list the first 19 authors as stated and then insert an ellipsis instead of an ampersand, and then list the final author. An ellipsis is three dots. Leave spaces between the dots for the ellipsis. On the references page, the titles of books, along with the titles of articles, in periodicals, and on web pages, are in sentence case. Capitalize only the first word in a title after punctuation, such as a colon, m dash, or end of punctuation, such as a question mark or exclamation point, or proper nouns, such as organization names. Be aware that this is different than how titles are treated in the text of your paper. See section six 
the mechanics of style in the publication manual of the APA for more information. For periodical titles, that is journal, magazine, and newspaper names, along with website names, use title case. That is, you will capitalize all but minor words, such as articles, prepositions, and conjunctions that are three letters or fewer. Unless they are the first word in the title, after other punctuation, such as the M dash colon or end punctuation. The remainder of this workshop discusses how to create citations for various source types for the references page. To save time, we will only state author name instead of repeating the full author name template of author last name, comma, first initial, period, space, second initial, period. Review the previous slides for help on incorporating multiple authors on the references page. The citation format for books where the author or authors are credited with writing the entire text is author name, period, year, in parentheses, period, the entire book title, in italics, period, publisher name, period. When you are citing from a book where each chapter is credited to individual authors, cite first information about the chapter you've used and then information about the book. If you've used multiple chapters, cite each chapter as a different source. Author name, period, year, in parentheses, period, title of chapter, period, in, first initial, period, second initial, period, editor's last name. In parentheses, add the abbreviation for editor, capital E, lowercase d, period, comma, full title of the book in italics. In parentheses, add the edition and page information. First, the edition number, if there is one, along with E, D, period, in lower case for edition, comma, followed by P, P, period, space, for pages, and the first and last pages of the chapter separated by a hyphen, period, publisher name, period. For both ebooks and audiobooks, use the same format as for print books. Only include a URL or DOI if there is no other way to access the title. That is, no print version exists. When necessary, add audiobook with a capital A in square brackets right after the title before the period. Do this only if you'll be discussing something unique about the audio format, such as the narration. Otherwise, treat ebooks and audiobooks as their print counterparts. For audiobooks, use a timestamp in place of a page number if you're incorporating dialogue into a direct quote into your paper. DOI, or Domain Object Identifier, is a link provided by a publisher and is slightly different from a URL. For APA, the DOI is always included if provided. The DOI includes DOI as part of the link path. Only include a URL for content that is only accessible online, for example, websites or social media. If a source is available in multiple formats, such as books, films, or journals, do not include a URL. Most papers in psychology and other social sciences require you to use journal articles, so the article citation format will be the one used most often. Author name, period, date in parentheses, the year, comma, month, spelled out in full, and the day. After the day comes the full article title, which ends in a period, unless there is other punctuation ending the title like a question mark. 
Next, list the source title, that is the journal, magazine, or newspaper name in italics. Note the article title is in sentence case, but the journal name is in title case. After the journal title name, add a comma, and then the volume of the journal or magazine, and the issue in parentheses, with no space in between. The volume number is in italics, while the issue number is not, although it's often hard to tell. Next, add a comma, and then the page or page range using the hyphen between the first and last pages of the article. Notice that there is no P period, as in chapters in books and the in-text citations. Some journals and magazines may only have the year and month or a year and season, such as spring or fall. Again, you may have a volume with no issue or an issue with no volume, or possibly neither. Use whatever information the source provides. Fortunately, the library databases usually have a tool that offers multiple citation formats. It is your responsibility to double check the citation and ensure it is accurate. One common error is an added URL at the end of the APA citation. For sources from library databases, the URL is not part of APA format for the references page citation. You may need to delete the URL from a citation created by the database citation tool. Journals and magazines are often available in print and through online sources, and your reader doesn't need to know how you personally found this source or in what format, just that it exists. Although if a DOI is provided, it should be included. For most online sources, outside of library databases, you will use the following format. Author name, period, the publication date in parentheses, year, comma, month, spelled out in full, and day. Full article title in italics, period. Website name, period, URL, which is not followed by a period. We will discuss what to do if there is no date on your source in a little bit. List the websites by their name, for example, Psychology Today as two words and not psychologytoday.com. For online sources such as videos or podcasts, include video or podcast capitalized in square brackets at the end of the title before the period. The example at the bottom is for a TED Talk posted on the TED website. The speaker is credited as the creator. Content posted to content sharing platforms like YouTube or Vimeo have a slightly different citation format, which we will cover soon. As just discussed, for most online articles, the article title is italicized followed by the website name, which is not italicized. Follow the same format when citing from online news sources, such as CNN, Vox, or Huffington Post, or other news sources that do not publish in print. When citing from online magazines or newspapers, such as the New York Times, The Atlantic, or Wall Street Journal, which do have print counterparts, APA requires you to follow the journal format. That is, do not italicize the article title, but the source title instead. Here you will include the URL, as the content is not reproduced exactly the same as in the print version. If you cannot identify a specific author for your article, list the article title first, before the year and then follow with the website name. When doing so, do not italicize the article title. You can also use the name of the website in place of the author when this seems appropriate. For example, a government website or professional organization who are most likely are responsible for all of the website content. When following this format, 
do not repeat the website name after the date. Be mindful that whatever element is listed first should be used in your in-text citation, either the article title or the website name. The format for videos on content sharing platforms like YouTube is similar to the video format previously described, except the uploader or owner of the channel is credited as the creator, even if they are sharing content created by others. A TED Talk uploaded to YouTube would be credited to TED, even if it is clear who the speaker in the recording is. If the uploader uses a handle that is different from their real name, such as Grammar Girl, include both the person's real name, if known, and handle in the references citation, with the handle in square brackets preceded by an at symbol. Do not include the handle in the in-text citation unless you have no other information. To cite audiovisual media, such as films, podcasts, or music, include the creator's role, such as director, host, or screenwriter, in parentheses after their name. In addition, include the media type, such as film, song, or podcast, capitalized in square brackets after the title. Like books and periodicals, only include a URL if the source is only available online. Do not list access points such as Netflix or DVD. Creator name, period, role, capitalized in parentheses, period. Year, comma, month, spelled out in full, day of release, also in parentheses, period. Title in italics, followed by square brackets with the media type not in italics, such as film or podcast, capitalized, period. Production company, period. URL, if required. For an individual podcast or TV episode in a series, use a similar format to a chapter in a book. First list information about the part cited and then the whole. For example, creator name, period, role, capitalized in parentheses, period, year, comma, month, spelled out in full, day of release, period. Episode name, followed by square brackets with audio or TV series, capitalized, and podcast episode or episode not capitalized, period. In, series name in italics, period. Production company, period. URL, if required. For content on social media, such as Instagram or Twitter, list the author or creator's name followed by their handle in square brackets before the period. Include the at symbol before the handle name. Then the date of the post in parentheses, year, comma, month, spelled out in full, day, period. Next, either list up to the first 20 words of the post in italics, or include a description of the post in square brackets for audio or video, period. Platform name, period, URL. Depending on the platform, it can sometimes be difficult to determine the date of older posts or replies. In such cases, in the parentheses where the date would normally be, add the abbreviation for no date, lowercase n, period, lowercase d, period, with no spaces. For content posted in a course shell, only list the resource on the references page if you are submitting your paper to the same class the material is posted in. 
Otherwise, cite the content only in the in-text citation as personal communication. See part two of our workshop to review. For material not created by your professor, follow the appropriate guides for the material as discussed above. For content created by your professor, such as PowerPoint slides or video content, use the following format. Author name, period, date, in parentheses, title of content in italics, content type in square brackets, such as PowerPoint slides, capitalizing PowerPoint, but not slides, period, LMS name, here, Blackboard, period, and then the main landing page URL. Do not include course number or course name in the references citation for APA format. When citing sources with no date, use lowercase n, period, lowercase d, period, with no spaces, just as we do in our in-text citations. For web sources with no creation date, add a retrieval date by adding the phrase retrieved, month, spelled out in full, day, comma, year, comma, from, and then the URL. Use this for sources with no date or with no specific date for the page you are citing, such as a website with only a general copyright date. Also add retrieval dates when citing content that is likely to change. When citing definitions from online dictionaries and encyclopedias, follow the format similar to chapters in a book. First, cite the part, the definition, and then in the whole. Here we've cited the definition of positive transference from the APA Dictionary of Psychology. American Psychological Association, period, N, period, D, period, in lowercase, within parentheses, period, positive transference, period, in APA Dictionary of Psychology, in italics, period, retrieved, November 22, comma, 2020, comma, from, URL. When using online sources with no dates, be sure to analyze the information closely, such as looking at sources quoted within that source, to ensure that it is not outdated. Complete research paper formatting guidance is outside the scope of this workshop. See the APA style blog for details and a sample APA paper. With APA 7th edition, there is now a student paper format, which eliminates some of the elements from the professional APA paper format. Be sure to check with your professor and follow the requirements of your assignment. In this video, we have discussed the most popular source types to create APA citations for the references page. We have covered what information does and does not need to be included for different source formats and discussed formatting guidelines such as for titles and authors. Along with in-text citations covered in part two, we see how we can help our readers find the information we've cited in our paper. Along with quoting and paraphrasing, we can avoid plagiarism by using our sources properly. For additional APA help, go to the Harold L. Drimmer Library website at library.sunywcc.edu or visit the APA Style blog at apastyle.apa.org. If you have questions about anything covered in this video, please visit us at answers.sunywcc.edu to get help from me and the other librarians or to browse the library FAQs for additional help. You can also call or text us when the library is open. This is the end of part three of our APA workshop.